Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve a few questions on real analysis. The question is, consider the power series fx is equal to summation n is equal to to infinity log n into xn x to the power n. Then the radius of convergence of series fx is, so the radius of convergence r is equal to limit n tending to infinity a n by a n plus 1 that is limit n tending to infinity log n by log of n plus 1 which is equal to 1 so option b is the correct answer the next question is the equation 11 to the power x plus 13 to the power x plus 17 to the power x minus 19 to the power x is equal to 0 has option a no real root option b only one real root option c exactly two real roots and option d more than two real roots now consider gx to be 11 by 19 to the power x plus 13 by 19 to the power x plus 17 by 19 to the power x minus 1 what we have done is basically we have divided this whole equation this whole equation by 19 to the power x and we got this gx now observe that g infinity is equal to minus 1 since these are all less than 1 so their, their power to their any number which is less than 1 to the power infinity will give us 0 so all these terms would be 0 and we would be left with minus 1 so g infinity is equal to minus 1 and g minus infinity would be infinity since this would be infinity, this would be infinity, this would also be infinity and minus 1, that won't have any effect on 3 infinities which is itself infinity and we'll see that g is a strictly decreasing function as the 3 fractions are less than 0 therefore g has only one real root and so does the given equation so option b is the correct answer the next question is let s be the set of alpha beta such that x to the power alpha into y to the power beta by root over x squared plus y squared gives 0 as x y equals 0 then s is contained in now put y is equal to mx then we get x to the power alpha y to the power beta by root over x squared plus y squared is equal to x to the power alpha plus beta minus 1 m to the power beta by root over 1 plus m square equals 0 provided alpha plus beta greater than 1 whenever x y are 0 thus s is equal to alpha beta such that alpha plus beta greater than 1 so now option a is incorrect as s can contain negative alpha and betas 
again option b is also incorrect as it can contain negative alpha and beta and also 0 and 1 now option c is the correct answer thus option c is the correct answer